Okay, so I think I have no echo this time. Instead of uploading a reaction, I thought it would be a better idea if I upload a review of Blackpink at Coachella in Weekend 2. So, if you didn't have the chance to watch Blackpink at Coachella, this is your video. Very important, I'm not a professional. I'm just going to give my opinion or like a short review so you guys know what happened. 18 songs, three different sets. In the first performance or in the first set, it was the intro, it was Pink Venom, Kill This Love, How You Like That, Pretty Savage, Kick It, and Whistle. What I liked the most about this second weekend were the outfits, the confidence that they were showing on the stage, their vocals. Everything the second weekend, in my opinion, was better. I don't know if you guys agree, but in my opinion, it was way better. I didn't cry, but I was super excited to see how it was. You get the idea. Jesus confidence. Lisa's outfit was great. And Lisa is always serving Rose's hair, Rose's outfit and Jenny's confidence as well. I really like that. They were more free this second time, I think. I don't know what were the differences. Maybe in weekend one, they were so nervous and then weekend two, they were like, okay, I mean, we got this, we're Blackpink. We can, we already know how the crowd is like, so we're gonna do it better this time. And they did it like 10,000% better. It was Now, let's talk about the songs. Let's talk about the intro. Not so sure if they were royal family or another group of dancers. They were good. Not my favorite, to be honest, but they were okay. I mean, they were decent. Um, and then the intro. They were dancing and, you know, kind of entertaining the crowd. And then Blackpink shows up. It was great. They were having... It was the same, the same way of appearance. They had, like, some... I'm gonna leave the picture here because I don't know how to explain this. Um, and then they took it off and then they started singing Pink Venom. In my opinion, the most iconic part of Pink Venom was the ratatata part, the part where Lisa was cheering up the crowd, and the part where the stop, drop, I bring the pay light, they were like Coachella, everybody was going crazy. Then the ratatata was so strong, I liked it so much. After this, Kill This Love started, and my favorite moment in this song was the Jen Lisa lesbian moment, I don't know how to call it, in their rap. They were making a different choreo, which was perfect, it was good. They were serving, the crowd was going crazy, I loved it. Track numero tres, how you like that? And the track was similar to the one they were playing on the world tour with the same remix because every single song had a remix before it started. And I like how you like that. Plus, because it's one of my favorite songs. Now, Jenny had this incredible line before How You Like That because in between How You Like That and between Kill This Love, How You Like That, they were like introducing themselves. And in Weekend One, Jenny had this iconic line. <laughs> Then, I thought that in this second weekend, she was not gonna have this iconic line, and she did it, and she did it different. Haters are gonna hate anyways. But I liked it, I liked it. I knew it was gonna be a good performance when Lisa was cheering up, Jisoo was extremely confident, Rosé's hair was everything, and Jenny was too. The choreo in Pretty Savage was different. It was not so much like a thing, da -da -da -da, how they start. There was this iconic shoulder move. I liked it a lot. They should include it in their Mexico. I mean, by the time I upload this, our concert in Mexico is gonna be today. Today is our concert in Mexico. 
Okay, okay, well, let's forget about Mexico for today. Um, iconic moments and pretty savage. Shoulder moves, it was great. And then at the end, they made this chair dancing, super sexy. They were showing lots of skin with their outfits, number one. Number two, they were more sexualized this and this second performance I'm not complaining and the curse word i'm here for the bad words kick it had nothing new included it was good lots of nostalgia i liked it and then whistle jesus speaking just a little bit of english gave me like ten thousand years of life she started whistling as in weekend one i knew whistle was gonna be the next song and something cool i mean maybe it's just me being i mean overreacting or something but each one of them had a dancer i mean in the whistle first part rose was giving the dancer a bombastic side eye criminal offensive side eye maybe it's just me in this second performance or in this second set it was meant to be their solo performance it was good number one was jenny with this you and i or i love you and i i love you and me sorry what was good about this is the outfit was better this time comparing weekend one with weekend two in my opinion I think she was including a dance break, number one. And number two, she included a rap verse. I just do not remember if they had it in Weekend 1, but in this Weekend 2, Jenny's performance was great. The second performance was Jisoo with Flower. Beautiful, forever my favorite. I loved it. She was so cool. The outfit in this second performance was not my favorite. I liked the outfit Jisoo was wearing in performance one, I mean, in weekend one, it was red, it was more... Ah, it was more like that. Weekend two, it was white, not so much color. I preferred the red dress that she had and everything in weekend one. But it's Jisoo, I liked it anyway. The third performance was Rose with Gone, a little bit of Gone and Underground. And Weekend One had like a short dance break and she was on the floor. And the only thing that you could see was her hands going like this. But in this second weekend, I liked it because the cameraman did this. Also, she was giving me the perfect runway while singing. I loved it. I liked the confidence she was having. Perfect. Oh my God, Rosé is so beautiful. Something funny and something that I just realized is that every single solo is about love. I love you, you love me, yeah, 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 he, 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 ha, ha, ha. But then Lisa started with a pole dance. She was the fourth member performing her solo. I thought she was gonna sing La Lisa this time. I would have liked that a lot, but she didn't. Huh. Now, um, the bad words, the uncensored version of Money was very good. The dance break was the best part for me. I think Lisa did just perfect in both weekends. It was good. This second weekend was better. So my recommendation for people at Coachella or the Blackpink managers is like, if you're gonna have Jisoo with a great outfit in weekend one, then you should have Jisoo with a better outfit Weekend 2, because Rosé had a great outfit, G Lisa had a great outfit, Jenny had a great outfit, and then Yisu was like, I mean, it's Yisu, she was so elegant, but I would have preferred like a red something thing. The third performance, or the third set of their performance with Bombaya, Lovesick Girls, Playing With Fire, Type of Girl, Shut Down, of course, Tally, do 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 do, forever young, which was their last song. I have nothing to say. Everything was perfect about second weekend of Blackpink at Coachella. Then they had Lovesick Girls. Lovesick Girls made me super nostalgic because they were interacting with the crowd. 
Um, Jisoo was, she was stealing limes from Jenny. <laughs> Jenny was giving her the bombastic sad eye, the criminal offensive sad eye. And then type of girl. I think that this type of girl live performance has been the best of all. The, the wings, the feathers, the things that they had, it was good. Each one having their moment, but Jenny, type of girl, Jenny dance was something else. I mean, it's addictive, it's like a drug. That was my favorite part of Type of Girl. And also something important, like a fun fact, is that after singing Money, and after singing Type of Girl, and after singing Tally, they've become more popular. Nothing important happened in Shutdown, I think, only the part that I was expecting, Jenny saying, Coachella, let's go, before the breakdance. And I think it's gonna happen today in Mexico. I hope she goes for Mexico, let's go. I really, really hope this happens. That was my favorite part of, sh of, of Shutdown. The thing I liked about Tally, when they started performing Tally, um, it was the feeling Rose was given because she had a rumor or she had a problem the week before or that weekend where haters were saying she, has, she, has, she was into something with her friends like smoking or I don't know I, I really do not know what the rumor was but she was feeling it while she was singing she was feeling like you better go and fuck yourselves because I do whatever the fuck I want with whoever the fuck I want la 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 I like that and as I said at the beginning I liked this second weekend because they looked so happy so confident, the vocals were better. They were having more freedom in this second performance. I liked it, Elia. Um, I really don't know if the entire um, performance is gonna be available somewhere here. If I find it, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, that was it. It was super good, it was super great. So, um, yep, bye. <laughs>